Hello, I'm here to walk you through some of the new things that we're gonna have uh, here at church, some procedures that we're gonna have in place so that we can safely relaunch our worship service um, with the proper social distancing and safety measures for all involved. The first thing you'll notice is that we are limiting the entrances of the church to two entrances. Here at the red door on the corner of Baker Street and Wheeler Street, where the elevator is available inside, and our front steps um, that are on the Ever Street and Baker Street corner, those are also available, and that would be our front entrance. After entering, uh, you will have the option to either take the elevator, which is right here behind me, or to take stairs that will lead you to the sanctuary. There is going to be a greeter at each door, at each entrance, with a touch-free thermometer. Now, we are asking that everyone get their temperature checked before they enter. Um, also, we are requiring that everyone wear a mask, as they are the most effective way to prevent the spread of COVID-19, um, as well as keeping six feet distance. So, if you do not have a mask, we have disposable masks available. If you would be comfortable wearing gloves, we also have disposable gloves available. As you enter the sanctuary and you come and find your seat, uh, there will be greeters that will help you if you cannot find um, a pew that is open. As you can see, we have taped off every other pew and that allows for extra social distancing. When you have a seat, there are going to be what we're calling social distancing sticks in each pew. They are six feet long and they're just a visual to help us make sure that each separate household stays six feet apart while they're here worshiping. Following the benediction, there will be an usher at each section that will release row by row each person from the church service. This allows for us to control the people that go out, keeping them safely social distanced as we came in safely social distanced. There are a few things in the service that you also notice that are different. Um, we will not be handing out bulletins or any kind of physical things. All hymnals, uh, papers, and Bibles have been removed from the pews. Um, these are tangible, touchable items that can help spread um, uh, sick germs and, and viruses like COVID-19. This is going to be another change. There will be uh, no choir and there will be no live singing. Um, in any of our in-person worship services. We are also going to have that prayer time and the pastoral prayer during the worship service, but not the kneeling up front as we would usually invite those that needed to come and pray. Uh, we invite you to do that same thing just from your seat. Um, the third thing that's gonna be different is we're not gonna have an actual offering time. You're not gonna pass a basket. Um, we have here baskets at each exit when you're all done with benediction and you have been released by your usher, uh, you can feel free to put any of your offerings in the basket as you leave um, and not have to worry about passing those things around and again, um, spreading germs in that way. Otherwise, you're gonna go right back out through the front doors, down the steps and to your vehicle once the benediction is over. Thank you for watching this video and um, keeping in mind that we can safely come back to in-person worship if everyone follows these simple guidelines.